Welcome to ViCast, where we bring a blend of knowledge, expertise, and fun to the world of finance. Stay tuned for our exciting episode packed with insights and practical tips that will help you achieve your financial goals. Whether it's within our families, communities, or workplaces, that feeling of being part of something greater resonates deeply within us. Welcome to a special edition of ViCast. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, and in this episode, we explore the vibrant and dynamic world of ViStar Credit Union's resource groups. These groups are committed to fostering a diverse, equitable, and inclusive environment for everyone, members, employees, and the community alike. Joining us today is Kaisa Gross, Management Development Program Associate. Kaisa is also the chair of the Women at ViStar Empowerment by Star Resource Group, also known as WAVE. Kaisa, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me, Charlene. I'm happy to be here. So the VRGs here at ViStar have all started from someone's initiatives, a group of employees or even an individual who feels like this particular group needs a voice and has something to share with ViStar and the community as a whole. Share a little bit about the background of WAVE. Absolutely. So WAVE had its inception in 2020. So we're four years strong now. Uh, we started as just a really small group of women, just kind of brainstorming what we wanted to do, what we saw the group look like, uh, you know, anything that uh, we felt needed addressing as far as you know for our particular demographic and each year we've grown um significantly uh we're currently the largest vrg in the credit union uh, which is exciting that is so um <clears throat> you know it's been just getting stronger each year and we're really really excited to continue that Okay, so to be transparent, I'm also a member of WAVE, and I have to say one of the things I truly enjoy uh, are the speaker series that you have each quarter where you bring women in from different backgrounds uh, to share their story, and I love that they allow themselves to be vulnerable and take questions, and you know, a lot of the women listen, like they ask like the real questions, like how did you handle failure? What are your biggest challenges? What was the biggest lesson learned? And I've so appreciated that they've been really honest. I've really learned a lot from those conversations. How do you identify the women you feel will be a good fit? And how do you um, how do you figure out like, you know, this person has this to offer, this person will have that to offer? Because you don't want everybody who has the same background and the same experience. Absolutely. So we try to do that through just networking and finding women that are in leadership roles, you know, throughout the uh, th throughout Northeast Florida or various other geographical areas and that have, you know, a really good solid foundation on uh, who they are and their own personal brand. And so we definitely look for someone who's willing to be transparent because we want our members to be able to ask those difficult questions because we need the answers to them. Uh, you know, we can see um, we had Mega Parikh. She's the chief legal officer of the Jaguars. And we had her and she is just a phenomenal woman. She is so incredibly busy. And we kind of got a look in what her day to day is like. And being able to listen to her and mm -hmm. learn from, you know, from start to finish exactly what she does, you know, as far as meditating and then going to work and, you know, doing this and that. And I think as women, we are all so busy, you know, we're moms, we're sisters, we're wives and daughters. And so we wear a lot of hats, you know, and I think that it just really it's important to find women um, that are like you and that you can see yourself in them. And so we try to bring women like that into the group to to speak to us. And we've even had our own chief marketing officer, Dana Karzan, speak as well. And she talked about a project that she was leading. And I love that she was so honest. And she said, I was so focused on the project, maybe less on the people. And what I learned from that is that you really got to focus on the people on the team as much as the project. And I thought that was like such an honest thing to share especially within her own organization. Yeah, I definitely think that it's important to have leaders, especially within our organization, because we look up to them. And so for her to be so transparent and mm -hmm. so honest and, you know, say like, you know, I have failed before and I learned from my mistakes and this is how I overcame it. That's really important for women to hear. Because it encourages you because you should always work for an organization and a leader that it's OK to make a mistake. Right. Because it's how you learn from that mistake and how you come back from that mistake. If you live in fear all the time of, oh, if I make a mistake, Sake, I won't have my job anymore, then you don't really go out there. You don't put yourself on a limb, out on a limb, right? You don't think outside the box. You stay in that safe place. And she kind of communicated that it's okay, right? Like it's okay. You 
you have our support. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that whole segment was about being, you know, comfortable getting uncomfortable um, in different situations, which I think is very important because that's how you grow. Yeah, I think she actually said that. You've got to get uncomfortable sometimes mm-hmm. to really grow. So so this these are all on Zoom. These are all virtual. They're great. They're convenient. They're during lunch. I love them. But another thing that WAVE does is really um, focus on how do we network? How do we interact? Because you mentioned networking was one of the ways that you identify good speakers. And also, you know, one of the things that ViStar prides itself on its ERGs is not that just we do these great interactive and helpful and supportive events within our walls, but we really reach out to the community and make an impact. How does WAVE do that? So we do that in various ways. Uh, Networking is one of them, you know, having different events. And then also, for example, uh, last year during our Good Is Everywhere campaign that Vistar has every year, uh, we led an initiative with the Pace Center for Girls of Jacksonville. Uh, They're a nonprofit and they help, uh, you know, young women um, succeed and they follow the same curriculum that, you know, the, the Duval County School does. But they can be it can be really challenging for these young women, given the circumstances mm-hmm. that they were raised in. So we actually had about 30 volunteers. We went to their facility. Uh, we did a financial literacy course for them. We did vision boards and we also helped them paint their pump house outside of their building, which has been a very gray, bleak, um, unrepresented. Not of fun. Of all of them, yeah. And so we completely transformed it and it looks beautiful. They were all so excited. And for them just to have a space that they're proud of and that represents them um, is something that, you know, we were really excited to help with. I bet they were excited and I bet you were excited we were. too, right? Felt really good about those interactions. And what what a great example to show these young girls, other young women and women who are accomplished and who care for their community. What mm-hmm. a great example to set. And, and so that leads me to the next question. What do you think um, the members of uh, participants of WAVE get out of this and, and, and what have you gotten out of this personally? So I think that the participants of WAVE get the inclusion aspect. Uh, they get knowledge. They get, they, they get empowered. Uh, they're surrounded by a bunch of amazing group of women. You know, all of the women that we have here at Vice Star are incredible, um, which is why we do our Women of Vice Star booklet once a year. And so being able to have that support system and have those internal sponsors is really important. And also to be able to have someone to go to if you if if you're you know, you need something. So mm-hmm. um you know, kind of acting as a liaison for them and whether that's, you know, with our with our HR benefits partners um, or whatnot, just sitting down, having a coffee, uh, you know, just feeling that inclusivity in a non non-ju- non-judgmental zone. And I've learned uh, through the program, there's a difference between a mentor and a sponsor. Mentor is somebody like you have that coffee with and you, you spill all the good, the bad, the ugly, and they help you get through it. The sponsor is someone who's recognizing you, I, you know, seeing you, seeing the potential in you, and they're the person who's in the rooms where you're not and Absolutely. who bring up your name. And that's when you're not there, right? Mm-hmm. And that's a great, um, that's a great have to have both here within the organization and to be able to find both through wave mm-hmm. do you do that where you help match people um, employees with leaders to help them kind of develop those mentorship or those sponsorship relationships so wave does not do that particularly uh, we do encourage mentorships and having internal sponsors uh, but we do work with our learning and development team they came on our zoom call to uh, speak about the mentorship program that Vistar does as a whole uh, so there are other ways to get connected in that aspect uh, but we also did lead uh, a speaker series that was about the difference between mentors and internal sponsors Mm -hmm. which I think it's a huge difference and it's important to have both and and that's where you make them too is networking which you offer all right so what do you want as we wrap up this great interview and I think you and I could probably (laughs) talk all day about this good stuff Um, what do you want our audience to take away from this whether they maybe work at Vistar or maybe they're looking at Vistar as an employment opportunity Yeah, absolutely. So I think what I want people to take away is knowing that you can be part of a group within your organization and go through different issues, different topics and discuss, you know, hard topics and just say, hey, let's talk about it. You know, uh, throughout the VRGs, our various demographics face very different issues. And so being able to come in as a woman um, and 
be able to talk about that is really important. And then, you know, from an outside perspective, not all companies have employee resource groups. And so that's a, you know, a good competitive advantage that Vistar has. And it's important for talent retention and, you know, bringing people in. And I think that it's just a wonderful way to get involved within your organization because there's always so much going on, especially, you know, you kind of get siloed in your day to day. And so being able to have that kind of oh, that sigh of relief for that, like that meeting or that event, that networking opportunity is is crucial to, you know, I think that the well-being that someone would want in the workplace. Well, Kaisa, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for your leadership of Wave. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you so much, Charlene. I'm happy to be here. And you can learn more about what the VRGs are doing in the community by going to vistarcu.org and check out the community page. Please make sure to subscribe to ViCast wherever you get your podcasts so you don't miss an episode. You can also follow us on Facebook at ViStarCU, Instagram and YouTube at Vistar Credit Union to give us your thoughts on a topic you'd like us to cover. We'll talk to you next time.